If you're a diabetic, reaching for that packet of sugar to sweeten your coffee or cereal probably isn't your first move. Instead, you may want to look for alternatives to table sugar. And there sure are a lot, right? Eat at any diner or pop into any coffee shop and you'll probably find a rainbow of artificial sugar packets to choose from. But two of the newest types have become incredibly popular in recent years. Splenda and Stevia. Is one better than the other when it comes to managing blood sugar levels? And with artificial sweeteners sometimes being a subject of controversy, should you try either? We're about to compare the pros and cons of Splenda and Stevia. But first, do us a favor by liking this video and subscribing. Also, make sure to ring that bell for notifications. Plus, stay tuned to learn how you can receive two free gifts. Now, let's investigate. Splenda versus Stevia. Which sugar substitute is better for diabetics? So, first off, what is Splenda? We should clarify that Splenda is not the name of the artificial sweetener in question. It's a brand, the one best known for containing the actual artificial sweetening agent, called sucralose. The name Splenda is simply the trademarked branding for the most popular sucralose product. And because this product is most associated with sucralose, the general public now refers to it not by its proper name, sucralose, but by the famous product, Splenda. It's similar to how many people refer to their facial tissue as Kleenex, even when the specific tissue in hand is not actually sold by Kleenex. So, for clarity, when we discuss Splenda, we're actually referring to sucralose in general. But back to Splenda for just a second. You may remember that this brand's slogan used to be, made from sugar so it tastes like sugar. A lawsuit from Equal, an aspartame-based artificial sugar brand, forced Splenda to adjust their slogan slightly to, zero calorie sweetener tastes like sugar. However, the original slogan is still technically true. Sucralose actually starts as sugar. But through a manufacturing process, three chlorine atoms are replaced by a hydrogen-oxygen group of atoms. This creates a sweetening product with zero calories, but one that's about 600 times sweeter than table sugar. And get this, the creation of sucralose as a sugar substitute was pretty much an accident. In 1976, scientists at Queen Elizabeth College in London were researching typical table sugar, or sucrose, and they created the new chlorine sugar concoction, now known as sucralose. The scientists were told to test the formulation, but they misheard it as taste, and soon they discovered just how sweet this sugar alternative could be. Plus, the research revealed that, due to its composition, their new creation lacked any calories. Despite this breakthrough occurring in the 1970s, it wasn't until the 1990s when sucralose began seeing approval for consumption. In 1999, Splenda became the first commercial artificial sweetener to use sucralose. Since then, sucralose has become more popular than aspartame, due to its incredibly sweet taste and its less artificial origins. Many people find that sucralose tastes more like sugar than aspartame products, and without the bitter aftertaste. Nutrition of Sucralose Sucralose products contain zero calories per packet and come in under one gram of carbohydrates. However, Splenda specifically includes the carbohydrates maltodextrin and dextrose, which bumps that product's total carb amount to one gram per packet. Plus, each packet of Splenda contains three calories. A packet of Splenda is equal to two tablespoons of table sugar. But due to it being about 600 times sweeter than sugar, you probably won't use as much of this product as you might with table sugar. But how do sucralose products work when it comes to managing diabetes? Splenda's impact on diabetes. As Splenda doesn't contain a significant carb load, it shouldn't spike your blood sugar levels. 
However, research has shown that artificial sweeteners can still trick the human body into releasing insulin, even when it's not needed. This process is known as cephalic phase insulin release. This means when sucralose reaches your taste buds, your brain may believe that your body is receiving sugar, and then trigger your pancreas to release insulin. Therefore, on one hand, given that sucralose may slightly increase insulin levels, it may be beneficial to type 2 diabetics for aiding glucose control. But on the other hand, overconsuming sucralose could end up flooding the bloodstream with extra insulin where there's no actual sugar to manage. This could end up decreasing insulin receptor activity and thus may lead to added insulin resistance. What about other risks? Artificial sweeteners tend to have some controversies, even though they are deemed safe for consumption. One risk involves cooking or baking with sucralose at high heat. In one study, it was discovered that combining sucralose and glycerol, a naturally occurring chemical found in fat, it can create chloropropanols if cooked at higher temperatures. These are chemical contaminants created when glycerol reacts with chlorine under acidic conditions. As chloropropanols contain carcinogenic properties, consuming high amounts of this chemical can raise the risk of certain forms of cancer. With that said, the amount of chloropropanols created when you bake sucralose with fatty foods probably won't be enough to cause lasting harm. Another study involving mice suggested that sucralose could damage good gut bacteria, which might affect digestion and immunity. What does that mean for you? Right now, sucralose does seem to be generally safe, especially when eaten in moderation. Another possible risk of overconsuming extra sweet sugar substitutes, like sucralose, is that, just like with real sugar, it can rewire your brain to crave high levels of sweetness. This means that there is a certain level of risk for addiction that may come with consuming these products on a regular basis. Recipes with Splenda Yes, Splenda is sweeter than normal sugar. So, when using Splenda's granulated sugar, you may wonder if you need to change the normal recipe. Not at all. If the recipe needs one cup of sugar, one cup of Splenda works just fine. With some sugar substitutes, you may need a conversion chart, which can be a hassle. But there's no need to worry about that when it comes to granulated Splenda. So that's the lowdown on sucralose sugar substitutes. But what about Stevia? Stick around, as we'll take a deep dive into the other sugar substitutes taking the world by storm. First, it's time to reveal how you can grab two free gifts. Would you like an entire catalog of diabetes-fighting foods right at your fingertips? Our new book, Superfoods for Diabetics, will open up a world of nutrition for you and your family. Plus, do you want to learn secret truths from leading medical professionals about the real ways to fight diabetes? Gain hidden knowledge with episode one of that diabetes documentary. To get both gifts, all you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Now it's time to take a closer look at Stevia. Stevia is a sweetener that has exploded in popularity in the past decade, but it's been around in nature for a long time. That's right, Stevia isn't artificial. It's actually derived from a plant. That plant, Stevia reboundiana, which grows in South America, has been used for thousands of years. But it wasn't until the 1980s when it took off in health circles. Recently, it's seen a more mainstream appeal, with many commercial sweeteners utilizing this natural compound. Most stevia sweetener products are created by combining extracts from stevia leaves with other sweeteners. Because some stevia sweeteners are blended with other less than healthy ingredients, look for organic stevia products where available. Or why not grow your own? That's right, some people cultivate their own stevia plants and use their leaves to sweeten their food and drink. The stevia leaf can be about 200 to 300 times sweeter than sugar. So just like Splenda, you won't need much to get a large helping of sweetness. However, stevia, like aspartame, has been reported to give off a slightly bitter aftertaste. 
Stevia products are available in several forms. Not only can you find this sweetener in granulated form, it's also available in powdered or liquid forms as well. Stevia's Nutrition The nutrition of Stevia is similar to sucralose. It has an insignificant amount of calories and carbohydrates. But the amounts may vary depending on which specific Stevia product you use. Most Stevia products contain about 2 grams of carbohydrates per packet, and basically zero calories per packet. Stevia can also make you feel full for longer, and it may help to lower your bad cholesterol levels while raising the good. And incredibly, other studies have shown that Stevia contains antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. This means Stevia, unlike many synthetic sweeteners, may actually be a sugar substitute that not only won't raise your risk of developing cancer, it could actually help to reduce the risk of certain types of cancer. Stevia's Impact on Diabetes If you're worried about diabetes, you probably want to know, will Stevia increase your blood sugar? Studies have shown that it's unlikely for this natural sugar substitute to have much of an impact on glucose levels. In fact, one study found that stevia may actually have the ability to lower blood sugar levels. While other artificial sweeteners may increase insulin resistance, studies have shown that stevia may actually work to increase insulin sensitivity. Like sucralose products, this extra sweet sugar substitute can trigger cephalic phase insulin release. Therefore, it may be helpful for blood sugar management for type 2 diabetics. And yet, it also does carry a very small possibility of creating added insulin resistance if overconsumed on a regular basis. However, one study on obese patients revealed that regularly consuming stevia did not adversely affect their glycemic and insulin responses. What about other risks? In short, just like sucralose, stevia products have been labeled as safe for consumption. In fact, the Center for Science in the Public Interest ranked stevia as one of the safest sugar substitutes on the market. With that said, be mindful of what's in your stevia sweetener. Some brands, just like certain sucralose products, use some amount of dextrose or maltodextrin. However, those quantities should still be quite small. So, as long as you aren't over-consuming stevia, it shouldn't pose a huge risk. Cooking with stevia Depending on what type of stevia product you use, you may need to make some conversions. For example, 1 cup of sugar is equal to 12 teaspoons of stevia powder, or 6 teaspoons of stevia liquid. Therefore, do your research when cooking, and print out a conversion chart if needed. So, in the battle of Splenda versus stevia, who wins? Let's break down the similarities and differences of two of the most popular sugar substitutes to see which one is better for diabetics. Taste This is subjective, but since sucralose is derived directly from sugar, many will like that its taste appears closer to sugar than stevia products. Therefore, Splenda wins this round. Cost This can vary depending on the store and which product you get. However, generally, stevia products do carry a higher cost than sucralose products. With that said, its price difference is usually not significant. For example, a 100 packet selection of Splenda may cost about $3.86, while a 100 packet box of leading stevia brand comes in around $4.12. But if you're on a shoestring budget, that could be a significant difference. So again, Splenda wins this round by a hair. Naturalness Sucralose products are laboratory creations, but they are derived from natural sugar. Yet many of these products do have artificial sweetening agents added later. Stevia products are extracted from the stevia plant. However, some artificial sweeteners may be added to certain brands. With that said, you can purchase true organic stevia sweetening products. Also, you can grow your own stevia plants and use them to sweeten your foods yourself. Therefore, stevia wins this round. Nutrition and Diabetic Impact Sucralose has an insignificant amount of calories, carbs, and sugar. 
For diabetics, it doesn't appear to have much of an impact. However, many sucralose products do contain a small amount of carbohydrates. Plus, there isn't much of any nutritional value to be found here. Stevia also won't increase your blood sugar in most cases. Plus, studies have shown it has the ability to make you feel full. Another study suggested that stevia has no impact on glucose or insulin levels. Also, stevia's antioxidant properties may help fight certain cancers and improve cholesterol levels. So, when it comes to nutrition and blood sugar management, stevia is the clear winner. Risks Both products appear to be generally safe. However, one study of sucralose indicated that it could damage gut bacteria. But as this study was conducted on laboratory mice, research is needed to confirm this for humans. Also, cooking at high heats with Splenda may be problematic, as it could release cancerous compounds. Again, more research is needed. However, there is no indication as of this video that baking or cooking with stevia carries the same risks as sucralose products. Therefore, stevia takes this round. So, who wins? All things considered, stevia is the winner. After breaking it all down, stevia has the edge when it comes to managing diabetes and obesity. While sucralose products may taste a little better for some people and could cost a little less, current studies indicate that stevia may be just a bit better for your health. And there you have it. If you're looking to add sweetness to your drinks or food, but you want to bypass actual sugar and avoid less healthy artificial sweeteners, perhaps stevia products should be your preferred choice. But we want to hear from you. Which sweeteners do you prefer, and why? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this vid and subscribe to Diabetes Smarts your home for fighting obesity and diabetes. Also, make sure to grab your two gifts by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a happy and healthy day.